lot to talk about here, Scott. Let's try to get inside the head of Judge Bunning. He okay. told Kim Davis today in court her good faith belief is simply not a viable defense. He said that his oath that he took and the oath that Davis took supersedes those beliefs. Where's he going on this? Well, um, the Supreme Court has been developing in the First Amendment speech context a similar rule. Uh, if public employees speak pursuant to their official duties, then the speech that they make does not qualify as speech for First Amendment purposes. Uh, their official duties can't be trumped by a First Amendment right. Uh, and it seems like what he's saying is that the same thing applies in the free exercise context. And there's no real reason why it shouldn't. Uh, as a matter of fact, the Establishment Clause makes it seem more appropriate there. He also said, and this is again the Judge Bunning said, that it's not his job or the court's job to write laws or make changes, but he said the legislature and the executive branches could do that if they wanted to step in here and change how the county clerks across the state do their jobs in regards to marriage licenses, but he can't do that. That's true, uh, uh, and, and he's being a, a, an appropriately humble judge in, that, in, that, in saying that. Um, the, the General Assembly could get together and they could re rewrite the marriage licensing law and, and assign the duty to, uh, to, um, to issue marriage licenses to a different official in the state, or they could automate the process, uh, put it online, do something like that. Or um, the General Assembly could get together and draft a religious accommodation law that says that a, if a public official in Kentucky has a sincere religious objection to an official duty, then that public official might uh, be excused from it if there's another public official waiting in the wings who is able to perform that duty uh, without a religious objection. And real quickly, some people may be wondering, this is a state job that she was elected to, but we have a federal judge ruling on it. That's How right. does that happen? Uh, the reason that the case is in federal court is because the primary issue in the case is a federal issue. It's constitutional rights of the of the people who are seeking to be married, their rights to equal protection and their rights to their fundamental right to marry. All right, Scott Boris for the UK College of Law. Thank you for dropping in, and, and we could talk a long time about this, <laughs> but thank you. Amber, thank back you, to Sam. you.